so what we're going to do today is a bit of a VR chat tutorial on setting up toggles for animations of a similar nature, at least in my case, that you want to all put in one layer and have it be very human readable from the VR chat state side to the VR chat menu side. Not VR chat state, the Unity state side. This the stuff that's just in Unity really, and the stuff that VR chat is using to talk to it. <coughs> So let's, <laughs> using the power of MS Paint, let's see what we have. Um, first, the animations that you're actually going to do, whatever it is. In my case, I have here some materials that I have used blatant coloring, you can see here, to make them red, green, and white. And I have over here animations that you can see in the bottom right here next to the next to the sad cat <laughs> is just going to change the hair color and nothing else really. This is a similar thing that you can do. You could have each of these be an individual outfit and you see I had green hair, red hair, white hair, and the default hair, which is a way that I do things that may be different from others, but I like to define what the default state is rather than hope that the default <clears throat> is already set by the by the avatar creator. And when I toggle from default to green, I'll be able to go back. <laughs> you know, what do you do if you turn on the toggle and then you immediately turn it back off? Uh, will the hair stay green or will it go back to another state that needs to be set somewhere, and often avatar creators will set it. Oh, the Twitch chat's still on screen. Screw it. <laughs> so that's the animations. The animations are already done. So on, let's go back to this. On the side of <clears throat> Unity itself, we have parameters and layers. So let's go into those. Right here, usually it's under a folder related to controllers, and usually it's FX. It's the FX layer. You can see there's layers, parameters. Parameters are variables. Layers are basically flow, flow charts of states that link to those. Since I'm changing my hair color, let's create a parameter called hair color. The difference here is that some of these you can see are booleans, they're checkboxes. They're stockings. Do you want the stockings on or off? That's a simple one. You could also make for, let's say, red, green, and white hair, you could have three individual parameters called red hair, green hair, and white hair that are all booleans. But they would need to talk to each other or rely on the internal logic of VRChat <clears throat> slash Unity to work. If you have a a light switch that says red hair and a light switch that says green hair, and you don't have one light switch turn the other off, then you're just going to leave it to VR chat to overwrite or not overwrite what you've chosen. This lets you choose and have all of the different colors talk to each other. So hair color is the parameter. And so <laughs> there you go, parameter, done. Uh, so now we create a layer. It's going to be the same uh, the same name. I believe it has to be the same name, honestly. Uh, I'm not sure though. <laughs> there are certain rules that, you know, you work with. <clears throat> so from entry, uh, sorry, there we go. That's, that's it, right? No, oh, no, no, sorry. <laughs> Let's create a state called default hair. And that's so when your character enters, you know what animation it will start with. That just makes complete sense. And let's make the default hair and any state, the, <laughs> the state of being unselected is sort of what any state is, and have them be the same. So any state just defaults default hair, uh, more or less. And the way that we can do this is we can say hair color starts at zero. 
it's an integer at zero, right? So let's say you're at any state. Any state needs to go somewhere. Well, we add a condition to the transition. This is kind of like an if statement that it that it goes through. We can say condition if, and these are parameters that we've made, right? So here's the hair color parameter we made. If it equals zero, then we go to default hair. Uh, now we can create two more empty states. And we can call them, sorry, three more. Red hair, white hair, and green hair. And we transition to all of these. And we can say, all right, so if you're at in any state, undecided state, you're just floating in the nether of code. If hair color is zero, then we go default. Well, let's make hair color one. Now it's going to go to red hair. Let's make hair color two. We go to white hair. Let's make hair color three. We go to green hair. So now the value of this parameter hair color will be read in and monitored by the hair color layer and you can make things happen. So now you'll see motion is a field. That's the animation that needs to be actively playing uh, while, while the state is active. <laughs> All of the clothes that you have on your avatar are basically light switches that are turned on and kept on and being powered. So when you put on clothes on your avatar, it's saying like, this is continuing to be true. And so you want to toggle it. So we go to animations and we can say default hair, but we have a default hair animation, red hair, red hair animation, white hair, white hair animation, green hair, same thing. The states match the animations that play and the requirements for the animations to play are that a variable changes its number. So now the layer is done. This is all stuff within Unity that is not particularly related to VR chat. So let's say that you've got, and now you can think of it as having three buttons on a wall and you can only have one button on at once or no buttons. Uh, that, that's what we've got in front of us. However, how do we then press the buttons? Remember, we're just floating in the nether. We don't have arms. <laughs> we can't press the buttons. So the way you press the buttons is through the VR chat menu system. So now we're going to move to the VR chat menu where there's three things. I think uh, usually we go to, uh, what was it? There we go. Under expressions, almost all avatars have something called expression parameters. That is the first thing you need to set. And the expression parameter needs to be the same thing as the parameter on the FX layer and the layer itself. So we're going to call that hair color. You can see that it's an integer and its default is zero, which is default hair. It's the same thing. And you can see that the expression parameter needs to equal those. That's kind of how that, that's how it talks. That, that's what changes and is read in by the code to change things over here and start animations happening. But we don't currently have any way, we still don't have an actual like way to press the button. For that, we need a, <clears throat> in this case, a submenu is the easiest way to do it. So let's create a submenu. I have a folder here for Windows but you can just take an existing menu, duplicate it and get rid of the, you know, the active controls in it and make your own. So let's make a control. We'll call it uh, red hair. We'll make it a toggle because we're pressing a button. We want the button to stay down. It's like a light, like a light switch really. The parameter 
is what we set under expression parameters. Hair color, we want it to be one. And we'll do the same for the others. White hair, toggle, hair color, two. And the same for green. And three. So you can see our three, uh, these are all buttons in VR chat. This is the, the circle, you know, the, the, the radial menu. These are the three pies in the radial menu. Um, and we will name this hair color sub menu, which that, that could be really be named anything. So now we go back to the expressions menu. You have to find this for yourself. This is when you go to avatar specific expressions. This is the main menu. Usually there's like, you know, clothing, lewd stuff, stickers, who knows, anything you want. If you have room here, then you make a sub menu and we'll call that hair colors. We'll give it a funny little icon and we call it a sub menu. You don't need to put anything for, in for parameter because it's not really anything. It just points to another sub menu. And from there, we see our hair color sub menu. So now we have a parameter that is read in. We have a sub menu and then we have individual toggles that are inside of the sub menu. And those toggles are talking to the expression parameter and changing it. All that toggle says is, hey, make hair color one. An expression parameter is basically just yelling to the void, oh fuck, hair color is one. The FX layer is watching, it's, obser it's an observer. It's watching and it goes, hair color is one. Wait a second, I wanna have red hair when the hair color is one. And because the parameter hair color is now one, and then it changes it and it, and it does the animation. See, it all works together in a circle across two different systems that hook into each other. So that's all to do there. And I will build and publish that. And we are here in my winter getaway <laughs> with my Rindo. And you can see, so let's go through it. We have the hair colors sub menu that I created and the individual toggles and you can see that the toggles are changing. And so think about, and if there's no toggle, default hair. So think about how this all works. The, uh, the red hair is one state and it, and we don't have to worry about like another state overwriting it and how that would work because the white hair state and the green hair state are all part of the same chart, which is really helpful for not having things overlap with each other. Imagine these were all separate toggles with an on and off. It wouldn't work so well. <laughs> and also if they were all separate toggles, you could click on green hair and click on white hair and green hair wouldn't automatically turn off. Green hair would just stay on and VR chat's internal logic would say green hair or white hair. I don't, I don't know. This puts it all together in a very human readable format. So anyway, make, make funny, make funny seasonal toggles where you change small things and just put them all into this, into one layer. And as long as they don't all conflict with each other too many ways, then you're good.